Hey, what's up guys? It's Turn Up for Ethan here, and today I want to show you guys which Nerf guns you should be looking for in the summer 2017 release. So this summer, Nerf is coming out with quite a few good looking blasters. So these are all the blasters that we know of so far. There might be some that Nerf just put out that we never knew of, but these are the ones that we saw at Toy Fair and they are official. So there's the Raptor Strike, the Twin Shock, the Modulus Regulator, the Zombie Strike Dreadbolt, the Doomlands Judge, the Alien Menace Voidcaster, and the Nemesis. Now these all look awesome, but I've narrowed it down to the few blasters that you'll probably want to pick up. So shout out to Blaster Hub for almost all of these pictures. They're an awesome nerf blog and they like release a ton of nerf info as well, so make sure you go check them out as well. Link will be down below in the description if you want to go do that. Alright guys, so first up is the blaster that everyone should be looking for, and this is the Rival Nemesis. Now this thing looks amazing. 100 rival rounds, full auto, and it takes 6D batteries, but the cool thing is it also takes the rival rechargeable battery thing, and that thing is said to be lighter and I think it's a little bit more expensive, but it's rechargeable, so when you want to recharge it, then you'll always have it there, which is awesome. And I think this thing looks really cool. I feel like it'd still be heavy with the rechargeable battery pack just because it's a huge blaster, but the awesome thing is that it's hopper fed as well, and that means you can just load in rival rounds on the go. I'll show you guys a video of it firing right here. And it just looks awesome to me. I think this thing will be awesome. I think it's costing a hundred dollars. Yeah, I just looked that up. It costs a hundred US dollars, which is a lot. But I don't know, if you had one gun to buy this year, this is the gun that you want to buy. Unless you're under the age of like 10 or something, I wouldn't buy this just because the rivals are really powerful. So if you're gonna buy just one blaster this summer, this is the gun you want to buy. The Nemesis looks awesome. Alright, next up is the Regulator. Now this thing is another one of the most anticipated blasters for the summer. This thing has three different firing types. It can go three round bursts, single shot, or full auto, which is a really cool feature, I think. And then there's a lot of attachments, just as you would expect out of Modulus. If I'm looking at my phone, I'm just looking at the blaster to tell you guys more about it. So of course you do have the stock and the stock houses another magazine. So it has three barrel extensions and two of these extensions can also be used as sights on the top of your blaster, which is pretty cool. And this thing comes with two 12 dart magazines and 24 darts and it needs four C batteries, which is a little bit heavy, but not as bad as say the Nemesis. So if you don't prefer Rivals, this is the gun you're gonna buy. This thing looks really cool. It costs $60, which is a, a bit of a high price, but I feel like this one's worth it to get right when it comes out. It looks like a great blaster, and I feel like this is gonna be almost as popular as the Modulus, probably. All right, next up is the sniper rifle, the Raptor Strike, the, or per se, the Accu-Strike, Raptor Strike, I mean. So basically, they've integrated the accurate parts. So basically, this is the Raptor Strike. It comes with Accu-Strike darts, which is a smart move because if you're a sniper, you gotta be accurate. And, of course, this thing costs $50, which is less than the Regulator. This thing looks really cool as well. It kind of looks like, just like an elite version of the Centurion, but we all knew the Centurion was horrible. This thing comes with two 6-dart magazines and 18 AccuStrike Nerf darts. And I think it has a built-in bipod. I can't tell if the bipod attaches to the rail on this blaster, or if it's just built-in. I would prefer if it was attached to a rail so then I could move it onto different blasters, but it kind of seems to be that it's built into the blaster. They also have a sight on the top, and I think it's gonna be a really cool blaster. It's bolt action and fires one dart at a time. It has an adjustable stock, and the bipod helps players line up their shot. That's what it says in here. This thing looks cool. I think it's gonna be a really cool sniper rifle. Of course, it won't be hitting really long ranges, but I think it's gonna be really nice because it has the accurate strike darts, which are pretty accurate, but the ranges might be a problem because AccuStrike, as you guys know, the ranges aren't as good as regular elite darts. So I don't know. I don't know what to think of this one. I think it's gonna be a cool blaster though. I really don't own a cool looking sniper rifle besides the Centurion. So I think I'll pick this one up for sure. 
This one's up to you guys. If you guys enjoy blasters that look like sniper rifles, then get this over the Nemesis and the Regulator. Next up is a blaster I couldn't care less for, but I think some people still might enjoy it. This is the Mega Twin Shock. Now this is finally the Mega Lines shotgun. I honestly don't think it looks that great. It looks a little too big for what it should be. Like this thing is probably like this big right now. And I don't I don't think it's cool. I honestly don't see the point of shooting two Mega Dorts at a time. I know it's cool, but it just seems overpriced, but I know some people might enjoy it. This thing costs forty dollars. For ten more dollars you could buy the Raptor Strike, which kinda looks like a sniper rifle, and I would definitely get that over this. Now the blaster holds 10 mega darts, but that's kind of like saying it holds 5 because every time you fire, then you lose 2 darts. And I honestly don't see the point, but just like the rough cut, you can actually fire one at a time. But still, I don't really like mega either, but that's up to you guys. The twin shock looks okay. I mean, if you get it, it should function well. And the mega darts fire 90 feet. And yeah, this one's up to you guys. I wouldn't prefer it, but it's still going to make my list because I know some of you will like it. Last up is the Void Caster. Now, there's only one exception where I would actually get this blaster. They need to make this one-handed blasting. If it's not one-handed blasting, then I'm not getting this for sure. I haven't seen any videos of firing on this one, but if it is one-handed blasting, you can hold two of these and just fire out of them. And it holds four darts and it comes with eight altogether. And the retail price is $20. So, as I was saying, it'd be really nice to dual wield these, it would be $40, but considering how much the Regulator and the Nemesis are, that's not too bad, but this thing looks awesome. It kind of looks like something from Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't really know why. It looks kind of cool, kind of wacky, and I think it'd be a really cool blaster. I hope they don't make it too big, I hope it's like around this size, that'd be a pretty good size I could fire out of it. I don't know if this showed up at Toy Fair, I didn't see it on Drax's channel. So I honestly don't really know. I would only get this if it is one-handed blasting. If you can just fire it with one hand, that'd be great. Everyone's hoping it fires like the Snapfire, which on the Snapfire you don't even have to prime the blaster, you just pull the trigger and it'll fire. I think that'd be great for this blaster. And yeah, if you're looking for something affordable, this thing's the way to go. 20 bucks, the cheapest of the line. So I would get this one for sure if you're just on a budget. All right, that's gonna be all for what you guys should look for this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to most down below in the comments. I want to know. I'm really excited for this summer. Everything looks awesome. Remember to leave a like, type a comment, and shoot that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember to turn up that volume. I'll see you guys later.